What's up, Rebs? Gonna do a quick uh, last minute thing here. We're gonna talk about the actionable insights profile on Xactimate. I'm gonna do a little show and tell here. So I thought I would just go live in the group. Uh, action, actionable insights, insights, Xactimate profile. All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to move this over here. So if you guys have any questions, that didn't work. Come here. Excuse me. You guys have any questions or anything like that? Comments, put them in here. Mr. Spears, hey, uh, you want to take part in this? Uh, I'm going to put up uh, I'm going to put up the link. How do I do this? How do I do this? Participants? Copy invite link. There we go. There. I'm going to post that there. Boom. I'm going to post this over here. So Mr. Davidson and Mr. Mobley can get in here. And then I'm going to open up Xactimate. Where is it? Where is ya? Where is ya? Xactimundus. Xactimundo. Being a little crazy today feeling a little kooky it's uh i can tell it's almost christmas and things are really slow in the claims delegates world um so i ha magically have time to do bullshit like this it's not bullshit all right i want to talk about actual insights profile because i think it's huge my opinion is um this is going to be the exactimate training tool I mean, it just it's just going to be that's that's how how we're going to train new <clears throat> estimators is is with this profile. So I'm going to give Joe a second to come in here. There we go. All right, Moberly, you've got your invite. I just posted the invite. Uh, okay, here's an attendee, <laughs> Mr. Spears. Of course, of course. I get in here. Are you here? There you are. Almost. You're almost here. Almost there. Am I here? Mm. Merry Christmas, Mr. Spears. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to do a show and tell on the actionable insights profile um, because there, I just don't think there's a lot of information out there. I don't think there's a lot of exposure um, and the people I think that are using it what the hell was that? Uh, are just don't, they're not saying anything about it. I think it's too new, but uh we are rebels. We are avant-garde. So we're going to just uh, show the world what this is all about. Oh, here. one. There he is. There's Moberly. Give him a second to come in. And I'm just going to share my screen. Oh, I'm, I can't share that yet. I'm going to open up an estimate first. I'm going to do an estimate from scratch in the actionable profile. So let's just do a new project. I'm going to do new underscore action let's do a mit let's do mit one actionable profile i don't know if you guys can see this it doesn't i'm gonna share my whole screen first and then i'm gonna reduce it because i've got a monster screen um let me just share that whole screen sharing okay so this is my monster screen apologize this is a 42 inch flat screen tv and yeah, I've got a bigger screen than you. That's just what it is. That's how it goes. So here's uh, sort of a new estimate in the actual profile. So you can see all the profiles that you can choose from. They're all bullshit, except for contractor, carrier, and actionable. Yes, I said that, and I would repeat it anywhere. Here we go. We're created, creating it. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing and just share this particular screen. 
so it's a little easier to read. There. And let's do, let's just choose, uh, let's just do bend Oregon priceless. I don't care. Because it doesn't matter. No sales tax in Oregon. So as you can see, Joe, are you, uh, Mr. Uh, Moberly, are you here? Yep, I can hear All right. you. All right. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chuck, I hope you're following along. Um, so here we go. We're going to get into this. As you can see, there's a, there's a new window over here in the actual profile. It's called inspection results. You can open and close it at any time. Uh, as I create this estimate, it's going to give up. Uh, it's going to show me the things that it thinks I need to add. And right, right out of the bay, the gate, you know, obviously policy number, date received, blah, 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 all this crap. Um, we don't really need this stuff, but let's just, let's just make a name. Come on. Okay. There we go. Let's just get that out of the way. Boom, boom. Yes, update my price list. I haven't updated this price list for a while. And anytime now. No? Nothing? Oh, whatever. Okay. We're not going to do any of this fancy who dad stuff. Let's download, while I'm here, let's download a new price list for Bend because it's been a while. So interesting tidbit, the, uh, the sell-through rate for actionable on this profile has only been 77%, um, which I think is pretty reasonable. I think it's actually higher than I would expect it to be because they want $168 a month per user uh, for this. But uh, hopefully I'm going to show you that. Well, it's technically it's $168 per um, user per, per user on each account. So like if you have one Xactimate account and there's two users, it's $168 per user. And you cannot do Ooh. a single user. You have to do it per user. All right. Hopefully. Watley, once you see this recording somewhere, uh, change that. I think that's a that's a that's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of folks. That's that's a lot of money for software. Um, but let's show you how it works. Um, okay, got our parameters set. We're gonna let's just do a let's just do a quick sketch. Let's do a room. Let's do a um, kitchen water damage. What do you say? Do it kitchen 12 by 12 kitchen and let's do a dining room connected to it just putting in random openings What, since when is my default window size five foot? I need to change that. That's all right. And we're going to put door. There's okay. We got doors. We got windows. I'm not going to do cabinets graphically because I don't think it's going to matter. Let's see what actionable comes up with. Uh, first and foremost, I want to go into, uh, I like to do my general conditions. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I like to do my, uh, no, uh, there we go. Let's just put a placeholder. Uh -huh. And just some of that. Whatever else. Okay. So let's see what 
you know, honestly, I've never tested this on a mitt. I've done it on repairs a lot. Um, so I don't know what the actual is going to come up with here, but let's see. Uh, what are we going to do in this kitchen? Let's say the water broke uh, dishwasher, dishwasher malfunctions. So we're taking out the floors. We're taking out some cabinets. So, but first we're going to extract some eh, EXT. Uh, this is a hard surface. All of it. And then, okay. So right off the bat, we just typed one line item. And here's what Actionable said. Floor protection may be warranted. Well, probably not in this case, um, but, you know, maybe, but let's, it's bypassed in a, okay. It's asking for drying equipment already. Okay. That's smart. Uh, muck out, probably not going to happen on this, on this loss. Okay. Labor minimums tab review. I don't, who here uses, do you guys use labor to minimums anymore? I just don't think they're worth uh, the hassle. A lot of insurance companies will not permit them, especially under mitigation. But I go to my labor minimums every time to make sure. Because, for example, if I'm going to use CLN F minus or if I'm going to use CLN steam, I use that labor minimum to see that I haven't changed the trade value. Mm. Because okay. when you change the trade value, I always tell everybody change your trade and then change your minimum group to be WTR. So that way, there you'll know if you hit everything or not. I just normally take it out, like you said, Andy. I mean, sometimes the carriers leave them in, you know, for a trade or two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, it's just the juice isn't worth the squeeze. It's not worth the hassle of fighting anymore. Um, it's just, and, and, you know, when you're talking about a couple hundred bucks, um, and you, you, yeah. I, if you really need some labor minimums, just go in and do it manually. Put in the hours manually. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Don't know why my wife is calling. I have to call her back soon. Okay. Okay. Uh, nothing new yet, but let's keep going. What else? We got, we got extraction. We're going to tear out the toe kick. We're going to detach the dishwasher and the sink. Um, Supply line, P-traps. I'm surprised. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so <clears throat> since I put a sink in there, here's what uh, here's what Actionable says. Due to the passage of time, angle stops leak when sinks are detached from the supply lines. Thus, it may be warranted to sweat off the angle stops and sweat on C caps. So that's a great thing. Check your office. I'm, your uh, this rules auditing. See, okay. So I'm going to copy this. This is a new thing. They didn't used to have that when it first came out you couldn't copy this plm cap c so i'm gonna go in here plm cap c and then how many lines we got one for the dishwasher and two for the sink so that's three right one one for the fridge maybe uh, on average you're gonna have one for the fridge one for the dishwasher um, valve two for the sink and then you're going to have, yeah, let's say, let's say the fridge, you know, let's keep it simple. Let's say the fridge stayed put we're, since we're being imaginary about it. Okay. So there's our P caps and look what happens. That suggestion disappears. But since I anticipated using that, uh, I copied it and I'm going to take that, what they just said and paste it right there. That's why I'm using this line item. This, this alone is worth my $168 a month because this is my, it's creating my F9 notes for me. And, you know, I don't have to come up with them. I love it. This, this is what I love. All right. What else did it come up with? Tear out removal line items warrant haul away. Debris hauling is not included in component. Okay. Well, yeah, well, let's put that in our general conditions and see if we can't. Let's copy this whole thing and let's put in a DMO trailer, my favorite one. I love tandem axle dump trailer and see if that goes away. See, boom, it went away, disappeared. Make sure to change, sure to change your labor on it, the CLNR. Okay. 
No, nope, gonna make this a little bit what, longer. Let's the, the, the dumpster and the trailer. That's what a lot of people always seem to forget about, but make sure you change that to CLNR, CLN-R for restoration tech and on it. It buffs it up quite a bit. Boom. You know, interesting side note on that. Um, the last update that Watley did on the pricing, um, when you change, so so every item comes with a uh, efficiency, right? Uh, labor efficiency, um, a yield. If you're going to change from a demo, DMO labor has a different yield than cleaning labor or or professional water damage labor. Uh, and the idea is demo guys are not as efficient as professional guys are. So if you're going to change the labor, if you're going to do it correctly, you also need to change the labor yield. Um, but I don't know how to do that. But just just mentioning, right so there. here's a direct yield 0.83 it would probably need to go down if you're well, going to do no, that. Yeah, you got you right. You should be able to write there where it says type labor right there in that window. Oh, you can you see that one? You can't you can't see that window, can you? Yeah, I can. It's a pop this pop up. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Okay, good. So if you click yeah, on the I'll labor change. line item there that says and all, hit edit. And now you can change it to from DMO labor to WTR labor. Oh. But it didn't change the yield at all. It's, the same, it's actually the same yield. WTR and DMO have the same yield. Oh, well, there you go. Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. What else is over here? Additional landfill fees per ton may be warranted. Uh, probably not, but it's good to know. It's good. To, yeah. Am I going to need extra? No, you're probably not. Probably not going to need that. What else? You may have overlooked water dry out equipment. Of course, because I haven't put my equipment in yet. All right, let's keep going in this kitchen. Uh, we got the sink, we got the dishwasher. We're gonna tear out some cabinets. No, we did the coat, we did the toe kick. Okay, we did toe kick, dishwasher, sink, extraction. What else? Uh, uh, the floor, let's do vinyl flooring. Why there, okay, here's a question that I want you to figure out for me, Andy. Mm -hmm. Above the range microwave and garbage disposal. Why is there not a detach only line item within the WTR line set like there is everything else? Like it's literally detach and reset and you have to point five it every time. In water? There is no WTR for garbage disposal. It's APP, GDRS and APP, MW. Huh. Are, like there's no water one for those two items. RS. Mm -hmm. And then you just point five it. You got to do a point five. Which is always better than just doing remove only. <laughs> it is? Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Like 2.5 on there. See the number? And then just, so that's what? Okay. So this all. is 106 bucks. Now do, now do GD and then remove only with a one count. You got to take the RS off. Oh. Twenty-seven dollars. Because you're not taking it down in a controlled fashion for saving for later. You're literally just <laughs> taking it off and throwing it away. You know, anytime you have an option to do or, or unless you're doing like a WTR detach line item, if you're doing APPs and stuff like that, it's always better to do detach reset and point five it. And that's actually proper for Xactimate. Okay. Then it needs to be remove only. Yep. Okay. And it pays better. Yep. I agree. It does pay better. Okay. So let's, let's see what Actual came up with over okay. here. While detaching, resetting garbage disposal, yeah. insiders are advised to consider a grounded appliance cord may be warranted to include. I don't know about that. Um, you know, how many times are you going to replace the cord when you do this? I would say very few times, but it's good to be on the repair plant side because a lot of older homes mm -hmm. are hardwired, their garbage disposal and dishwasher and modern codes for a lot of places require you to have an actual appliance cord on them. 
ran to an outlet. Okay, good point. So this would apply on the repairs. So we're going to bypass it. Uh -huh. uh, water tear outline associated with friable material, maybe. Uh, okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, probably in A for now. What else? Lead and asbestos, would, you know, with that one there. You might want to put containment up. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. See what else? Oh, see, it put the containment. It got rid of the containment. Uh, oh, but it says you may need tension poles. Sure. Why not? Why not? W-T-R-B-A-R-R-P. Let's go uh, four times uh, five days. Boom. And then boom, that goes away. Oh, and zippers. Thank you for reminding me for my zippers. Can you see how amazing this is? Go with two zippers. It writes itself. I mean, it just writes itself. And then that goes away. Uh, may warrant furniture blocking. On a side note for zippers, everyone, if you're watching this, if you're buying zip wall red, the red zippers, those are considered heavy duty. It's the blue thinner um, sticky tack side ones. Those are the regular ones. And 90% of people, you are always buying like the red zip wall ones because that's what's the most popular to buy. You charge heavy duty zipper. Yeah, Brandon says um, pricing is what has stopped us from using it. Yeah, I agree. It's 168. The way they have it set up, um, I could see 168 per company. Let's do that. Or if, if you write or, four estimates, I think it was. I did the math. If you write four estimates a week, um, you got to find twelve dollars. It has to help you find twelve bucks on each estimate just to break even on the 168. Which isn't uh, hard, no. but it just doesn't, it's not sexy. It's not, it's not a no brainer at this point. At this point, there's still a judgment call. Eh, is it worth it? Um, I think they, sh they could price it. They could reduce that price by half and double the, the users, I think, in my opinion. Um, but once again, it's not my company. I can't, you know, I'm not going to tell them what to do. Uh, furniture blocking, probably not. I wonder, I wonder if I do bypass this here, right? Furniture blocking because it's a kitchen. There's no furniture to block. I'm going to bypass it. But then I'm going to come in here in a dining room and I'm going to do extraction again. Oh, and it came up again. That's smart. That is smart. Look at that. It reminded me again, even though I bypassed it, I may need furniture blocking. Yes, I'm going to use furniture blocking in this room. because So it's making sure that each room has all of the same consistent items. Yeah, you see main level kitchen. That's This yep. is the, the recommendations here. And then main level dining room, a whole new set of recommendations. That is, that's pretty slick, actually. Well done. Let's do here. WTR. Wait. Type in CLN F minus and see if it, what it pops up for you. Hold on. I'm going to do the blocking first. BLK. BLK. Okay, come on. Okay. BLK. Yes. It's a large amount. Do my F9 note. Okay. Okay. So what do you want me to do, Joe? Type in CLN F minus. Clean the floor. Okay. You. Okay. So it's not doing it. And what during the. Oh, uh, during the beta, it was, it was telling you that if you're using high. So if you're using high, like a truck mount to use your, to apply pressure cleaning water, you're supposed to use CLN STM. And that's per Xactimate. I've actually talked to them about that before. That's the proper one. And instead of using like P wash or floor minus, you're supposed to use STM, change mm. it to CLNR. That's the proper okay. one. It was, it was telling us that during the beta. Mm. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's go back to the kitchen and make sure, let's finish out our kitchen just to see. Uh, let's see what it says here. Detaching single bowl sink may warrant a two 
inch test plug. Yes. Huge fan of test plugs. Huge fan. Uh, okay. Copy that one. And that is a PLM plug T2. Okay. PLM plug T2. And I will do an F9 note there. So we are what? We are 23 items into this estimate. And it's, it's, it has reminded us to do 12 of them. Um, and, you know, honestly, most of us professional exactimate estimators would catch the lion's share of this, but this makes it so much easier. I don't have to think about this at all. I have to get my scope, right? I'll take my, my sheet notes, my scope notes from, um, from my estimators or from my field staff. And I'm going to, I'm going to start typing that in and, and then I'm going to look over to the right here and it's just going to go, Oh, the, you think about this, 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 that's the beauty of the actionable profile. It just helps you. Uh, Brandon, what's that mean? Test cabinetry and kitchen. I have no idea what that means. Test cabinetry and kitchen. Do a cabinetry removal item and see what other items it queues up. Maybe that's what he's going for. F9 notes is the attractive part. Maybe they can separate packages review versus maybe, maybe. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted trying to read two different screens at the same time. Uh, Moberly, what did, what did you just say? I was just saying, I thought that you said, Oh, see what it so, comes up with cabinets. Okay. For, yeah, for yeah. WTR. Maybe that's what they meant. Yeah. That's what he meant. Yeah. That's what he yeah. said in the, in the Facebook chat here. Okay, let's give it a second. Hmm. No, it didn't really remind us to do anything, did it? On the removal. What about, what about the countertops? Well, what maybe it's because you had shoring already. Well, it's going to be a lot more on the repair side on that stuff there, because on cabinet turn, we're going to have remove cabinet, remove countertop. Now, if you do countertop, no, hmm, it should come up with it. Could, it should come up with shoring. Not everybody. Should. You would think that would queue up all kinds of things. You would think it would. Most people don't shore though. I don't shore yeah. if there's kids or pets in the house because somebody knocks one of my legs off and it falls and crushes them that I'm liable. But that's just me. Hmm. Oh shoot! You know I forgot. I forgot to record this. All right, I'm gonna have to download it from the, Facebook. The nice thing is if you do like do drywall removal, it'll queue up and say, "Hey, you have drywall removal? Did you forget baseboard?" Hmm. It's not refreshing. Maybe I need to. Hmm. It was doing so well. It was doing so well. Maybe it, let's uh. Switch to the dining room and then switch back. I don't know. Usually it was tell you. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe if it, you do baseboard, it'll ask if you want drywall. There we go. I just did a flood cut and it says drywall flood cut activities may warrant removal of baseboard. There you go. There you go, Mr. Spears. Tear out light item, friable materials. Okay. Well, yeah, respirators, blah, blah, blah. Containment. Okay. I need to do another containment in the dining room. Okay. That's good. But it's not coming up with uh, additional this items. Freeze up. Didn't freeze me up. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Baseboard, perfect. Anyway, we've we've done not very many items and it already came up with several ways to make a couple hundred bucks um, on this thing. And so this, the inspection results is essentially a live reporting version of when you go over here and do your inspection, right? Because these things will come up in here. Um, as well.
Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is, this is, I think, this is the the best thing to happen to Xactimate since Xactimate 28, in my opinion. Um, it's just an incredibly powerful tool. So, any of y'all in the uh, in the Facebook feed have any questions? You you want me to test something else out? Let me know. Put uh, put something in there. What's new in Chuck Doucette's world, man? Is he still doing uh, what's a drying academy? Is that is that what uh, is it? Doucet Drying Academy. What's the name of that? What's the name of his thing? Who knows? Advanced drying mofos. Is that how it goes? Just kidding. Just kidding. So anyway, uh, Moberly is your is your uh, curiosity peaked now. Uh, so Joe Moberly, if if you want to use, if you want to play around with it, I've I've already given you guys my Xactimate login, so you can do that. Um, oh, I have, I right. have the program. The and you've got it. You've got uh, uh, Spears. You've had you had the profile installed. Yeah, I've had the profile since beta. Okay. And you know you're you're right. I think this is what I'll tell everybody. Even somebody like me or Andy, you know, or some of the other group members that are using that are really well familiar with Xactimate, are you going to get as much out of it as everyone else? Absolutely not. But no. on a, especially on a large loss a large ass estimate running it through the profile once might help you catch two or three things. And you, you, we all know two or three things might be come on hundred bucks, you know, and well, I'll tell you, fun. I'll tell you the pro the, the, where I went wrong. Uh, at early on I did, I was writing estimates and then copying them into the actionable profile. And it just created way too many errors. Oh, Hey, Chuck's Chuck's getting here. Chuck, hold on a second promote to panelist. Um, it was creating an overwhelming amount of exceptions that it became as like, I'm that's stupid. I'm not going to do it that way ever again. So the best way to use the actionable profile is to use it from the start and, and build your estimate as you go. And, and, you know, cause otherwise you're just going to be overwhelmed. That's what we were, you know, I've got my estimators were just like, they're like, screw this. We're not doing it. There's too many things. There's hundreds um, hundreds of things. So, but yeah, it'll catch, you know, I added a hundred thousand dollars to one of my estimates by doing it easy. If you're hiring a new estimator or you're just getting into exact to me, it's, I mean, it will, you will definitely see the change in your estimate value overnight, like immediately on the first estimate you're right here. Cause most yes. people are already missing so many different items that you will be shocked at how much it actually is going to help you out on those things. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck's trying to figure out what's going on here. Mr. Doucette, I'm trying to promote you to panelist, but it's not working. I don't know why. Oh, hey, you're, you're here. I can see you. I can see you. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I plan on holding on to my discounted actionable profile as long as I can <laughs> for sure. Uh, because I pay for, you know, I pay for three different Xactimate licenses right now. Um, so that would be very expensive, but it's also a marketing tool for me. Uh, in, in, in the more I educate my clients on, Hey, I use the actionable profile and here's all the things, you know, I'm catching things that, that most estimators don't catch. It's a marketing tool for me and my estimating company is what it comes down to. Chuck doesn't want to talk. He doesn't, he just he wants to sit out here and chill. Maybe a technological. So Spears, uh, what do you want to talk about on Thursday? Because it's Tuesday. We got a day and a half to to figure out what, what the hell we're talking about. That's a good question. I haven't even started thinking about it. I've been swamped with this Florida stuff that I've been working on. Um Florida. What are you doing in Florida? I had to go down to Florida to help. That's out. right. You had a last minute thing. You had to <laughs> my last way, minute, go to the airport. <laughs> my last minute, it was literally, hey, 
How soon can you be at the airport? Can you be there within two hours? And <laughs> I was supposed to be there from Friday or third. I was left Thursday night. I was supposed to be there, come back Monday, and I ended up staying there until the following Friday. And it's just, it's chaos. Um, Is it good loss? Yeah. I mean, it's it's unfortunate it's a FEMA loss because mm. we all know that FEMA doesn't like to pay nothing, but um yeah, I mean it's gonna be a two million dollar it's a two million dollar loss. Yeah, that justifies a flight uh, a plane flight for sure. But yeah, I mean, you know, like you know, with the actual insight profile, I mean it is it's a wonderful tool that I'm glad they made it because you know, a lot of us have been using like Ask Amy and things like that in the past and it, it definitely will help people especially when they're not familiar with things really flush it out there is mm. no um ask amy you ever used ask amy for what so ask amy does the exact same thing that this actual insight profile does except it doesn't do it live action you upload a rough draft you tell it what insurance company you're working for. Oh, that's right. You do a then, rough draft PDF. And PDF and OCRs and it gives it. a print off to follow. And it, it, I mean, it knows all the rules for all state and everybody else, which, but you get charged every time you scan, you, you scrub an estimate. Um, and it's like 30, 40 bucks every time. So, okay. I mean, you know, real quickly, five, six estimates, you're done. But you're then you've got to go back and make all those changes. Yeah. I mean, okay. all these programs, but like I told, I tell everybody, you know, no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, these programs, they're, they're not, I hate saying it like this here, but they're not designed for longevity because if you're doing your job, if you have qualified people in, your, in place, actually like learning how to write estimates, they're going to get, you know, three, four months down the road. They're probably not going to need the program anymore because they're going to know what it's already looking for and they're already going to be smart enough to catch that. Yeah, but I've been doing this for almost freaking 20 years. And yeah. I wanted. Well, that's I, that's what I'm saying is that because I'm lazy and, and I'm getting older and my brain doesn't work as well. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Yeah. I mean, and it, I mean, even for me, I mean, I it's caught a few things I didn't know I could charge for, you know, um at times. And I mean, it's a, it does a great job. I'm going to dig into the repair side. I want to do some repair action here for uh, Mr. Compton. Let's see what happens. Uh, CAB lowers. We replaced them all. Let's put that in there and then see what happens. I'm going to make it start, start a new room off and do it. So that way there we're not seeing all the other errors going on. Oh. Okay. Library. There. We're going to put cabinets in the library because Compton wanted to see cabinets. Uh, one thing it does do, I'm going to see. I'm going to see if it catches this. We're going to do cab. Uh, we're going to do lower plus plus. But we're gonna do uh, what's the what's the hard no hardware no it's um knobs there detach and reset knobs and we're gonna do you know uh, whatever fifteen of those it should tell me it should say hey I have a I have a quality difference between my lower my lower cabinets are premium grade but my knobs are only average grade let's see. There's not a quality difference on knobs, though, for detach and reset, unfortunately. It's not detach and reset. It's, it's, I'm not detaching and resetting. I'm replacing. Let's see. By group. Oh, here we go. Living room. Now it says shoring. What? Okay, that that's messed up. They don't. That should be on the water side, not the repair side. But it also didn't give me my my grade difference here. I wonder if I 
Let's see here. May just need to refresh it. No, nope, it doesn't. It didn't pick up on that. I've had it pick up on other stuff though. Um, maybe it's, let's try this. Let's try flooring, floor covering wood. Um, let's just do, uh, let's do, uh, yeah, I know it came up with a different grade. So let's do a birch in here. And then dining room, let's do a floor covering wood in there. Let's do a different grade wood. There we go. There we go. Well, oh, I came up with a ton of shit. Um, unfinished. But, uh, nope. Nope. <sighs> okay. As soon as I wanted to do something. But you can see, I mean, just those two line items came up with 11 different things it wants me to look at. Nope. Nope. Yeah. It's not picking up on the grade difference. And I swear it did. I did an estimate where um, I had different grades in different rooms unintentionally, and it caught it. But now it's not. But it is reminding me for my T molding, my in molding, my reducer strips, my quarter round, floor leveling. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't realize that there's a lot that goes into this stuff. Calcium chloride test that does not apply because we're not over concrete. But they don't know that. Interesting. Okay. Well, as you can see, the, the deeper you go, I can't believe it's not picking up on that difference, though. No, that's not it. Interesting. But it sure wants that shoring for that lower cabinets. It's probably because you don't have a countertop being detached or something, or the countertop included. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll get rid of it. Where are we at here? Cabinet. Let's do uh, CAB. Why not? Nope. Still didn't get rid of it. All right, paint. I, I was do P or do uh P1 and see if it gives you a reason to do P2 instead. On painting? Yeah, because we all know nobody paints only one coat. <laughs> uh, this is in the living room. Yeah, I'm going to go out of the living room and back <laughs> into the living room. Let's hit refresh here to see what happens. Nope. See, I would think it would say, since you're doing painting, where's your masking? And it's not calling out for masking. It should. Lower cabinets, nope, nope. It wants me to put in supervision, temporary toilet, okay. Oh, here we go, nope, nope. Some painting activities may warrant special order paint matching. Yes, Not this might. one. But there's, interesting, it's not picking up on the masking. Excuse me, maybe because masking is included now? I don't know. Masking is not included. I mean, there has been a big uh, love it, hate it, agree or discreet. It's all up to everybody's preference, but there has been a massive 
a realization on both the carrier side and honestly, I mean, it, it's not wrong, but most painters nowadays, if you hire a professional painter, can cut in at baseline. You don't have to tape around your bases. Um, they can cut okay. in. Okay. You know, so that's one of the reasons why Xactimate's gotten away from it. I trust me, I've argued with them, but on that, but I mean, that's the reason why there's a lot of the masking issues because most pay I don't know many painters that actually have to break out paper tape anymore and tape around shit. Mm. Well, I do. When I'm painting my house, I do because I am a shitty painter. I am not good. So, all right. Um, hopefully that um, that uh, you know settled some curiosity, Mister. Oh, Moberly dropped out. Oh, all right. Well, Chuck, good to see you. I'm sorry we couldn't get you to talk on here, um, but uh, don't be a stranger. Show up on Thursday. We'll be we'll be here. One of us will be here. Joe, you're gonna be here. Yeah. All right. Good. We'll figure out something to talk about. We'll do a pre. Let's do a pre Christmas show of some kind. Let's do. We could do a mock Christmas tree fire. Let's do that. Let's do a. I just got my drink on my shirt. Let's do a mock Christmas tree fire on Thursday. I'm down. I'm surprised we didn't see any uh, 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 turkey fires. I didn't see anything in the news about turkey fires this year. Did did you guys? Did you? Oh, man, that's old news. Everyone knows that there's going to be a fire, so no one cares anymore about it. <laughs> It's not. It's just though. expected. I mean, you know, but yeah, um, especially on the decimals there, though. Yeah, I mean, that, I, you saw how to do the labor trade. Honestly, your labor trades don't really affect too much. I mean, they don't change. They're only a couple percentage points. You mean your your labor efficiencies, your yields? Yeah, your efficiencies. But like I said, I mean, that's how I always. When I write my estimates before and all, that's how, when I get done doing it, I'll click on my labor minimum tab, you know, especially like on a water drop. It's all rest, it's all should be WTR. So anything, like if you go into your estimate right now and you look at the labor minimums and you right click on it, it'll say show items. Mm -hmm. You can see all the items that don't have the WTR minimum. And that's how I know which line items don't also have the trade change to CLNR. Oh. and that way there and that it makes it a lot easier than trying to like go one by one you know room by room and, by room and you can change those you're gonna you're gonna change those globally right uh the only way to do it globally is to click on estimate items highlight all your folders and then you'll see all the, the common items together yeah but you're gonna you, you if you're if you want to change them all to clnr you're gonna do it globally right you're not gonna do it line by line right well, I mean, that's the thing is, so like if you're trying to do a global change, shift throughout the whole estimate, like I change them as I'm going, usually on the first room and then I'm copy pasting that room to the other sure. room. Yep, yep. And all that way, that's why I took the labor minimums to make sure I didn't miss anything. But if you're trying to do a global change, you can't do it through the global change setting. Literally, you have to hit estimate items, highlight everything in your grouping tree. So all your line items, and then, you, and then that way they're like all the CLNs, you know, CLN F minus will be one line item. You can change it globally that way. Can you show me that? Show us that. Okay. Oh, I got to enable share screening, don't I? Yeah, I, I, I just think I need a mark share screen. Uh, so like, here's an estimate right now that I'm working on. And yeah. you can see there's a shit. Yep. There's 20 different buildings with shit tons of stuff in it. So, That's a nice. That's a nice big one. I like it. So if you're going to do a global change on your trades, highlight your top folder, highlight your bottom folder that you need. Now, like if I click on APP, I can see this is all, all the APP dishwashers in my estimate are PLMs. I can change it here. Um, mm -mm. I'll tell you what, um, do one better. Do you know you can drag your category up to the header? Drag your category up to drag a column header and drop it here to group that by that column. Do that right there. Down. Yeah, right. Low down. Right. There. Drag the category. Category. Grab the category, not the selector. And then just drag it, drop it right there where the green, the green writing is. There. That's how I like to do it. 
it just groups it better for me. But yeah, I mean, you have to go through, you know. You'd have to change every single one of those, wouldn't you? Well, but what if you that. highlight all those APPs? You can highlight all those APPs and try a global change. Yeah. What? What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just applied dishwasher detached to a bunch of rooms I didn't need it in. Um, <laughs> oh dear. And then crashed it. And you killed it. And <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah, this is what? the most messed up estimate I've had to write lately because 20 unit or 20 buildings. Each building's got two or a main level and a garage, two units per building. The garages are all one estimate by themselves. Each unit's a repair estimate by themselves. Each oh. unit, it's one entire demo mitigation estimate for all buildings. But then every building where there's drywall work being done, that's the drywall work specifically is its own estimate because the HOA is paying for that. The homeowner's coverage is paying for that. That is a mess. That's a mess. Goodness gracious. All right. Hey, Mr. Spears. Great to see you, brother. Yeah. And uh, well, we'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah. Later. See you, Rebs. <laughs>